Princess Sultana's Daughters is a novel written by Jean Sasson, a renowned American author who is famous for her writings on women in the Middle East. The book is based on the true story of Princess Sultana, a Saudi Arabian princess, and her daughters. The novel offers a vivid and detailed account of the experiences of Princess Sultana and her daughters in the male-dominated and conservative society of Saudi Arabia. It highlights the challenges and struggles they face as women, and the impact of cultural and religious norms on their lives. One of the main themes of the novel is the oppression of women in Saudi Arabia. The author portrays the lives of Princess Sultana and her daughters as being severely restricted by the male-dominated society. Women in Saudi Arabia are subject to strict gender segregation, and their movements and actions are heavily monitored and controlled. The novel depicts how this gender-based discrimination results in women being deprived of basic human rights, such as the freedom to choose their partners, careers, or even the way they dress. Another significant theme of the novel is the impact of religious beliefs on society. The author shows how the ultra-conservative interpretation of Islam in Saudi Arabia, known as Wahhabism, has contributed to the oppression of women. The novel portrays how religious leaders use their interpretation of Islam to justify the subjugation of women, and how this has become deeply ingrained in Saudi society. The author also highlights how the Saudi government uses religion as a means of controlling the population and stifling dissent. The novel also offers a unique insight into the complex social and cultural norms of Saudi Arabia. The author describes in great detail the traditions, customs, and rituals of Saudi society, providing a vivid picture of the cultural context in which Princess Sultana and her daughters live. The novel highlights how these cultural norms and practices often clash with modern values and beliefs, particularly in regards to women's rights and freedoms. The novel's protagonist, Princess Sultana, often struggles to reconcile her own desires and aspirations with the expectations of her family and society. Furthermore, the novel also addresses the issue of wealth and privilege in Saudi Arabia. The author portrays the opulence and extravagance of the Saudi royal family, contrasted with the poverty and oppression faced by many ordinary Saudis. The novel depicts how the wealthy and powerful in Saudi Arabia enjoy immense privileges and access to resources, while the majority of the population struggles to make ends meet. The novel's protagonist, Princess Sultana, is torn between her loyalty to her family and her concern for the plight of ordinary Saudis. In conclusion, Princess Sultana's Daughters is a powerful and insightful novel that offers a unique perspective on the lives of women in Saudi Arabia. Through the story of Princess Sultana and her daughters, the author provides a vivid portrayal of the oppression and discrimination faced by women in Saudi society. The novel also sheds light on the complex cultural, religious, and political factors that contribute to this oppression. Overall, Princess Sultana's Daughters is a must-read for anyone interested in women's rights, Middle Eastern culture, and the dynamics of power and privilege in Saudi Arabia.